Hello folks, we are back for another version of Shop Talk. We're gonna talk all about picks. Picks, picks, more picks. Not that kind of pick, this kind of pick, which is a flat pick or a plectrum. I've heard it called a plectrum. plectrum. Um, back in the olden days, they called this a plectrum. And you hold your plectrum <laughs> like so. So we're gonna talk about uh, flat picks and all the different ones. We get a lot of questions about what kind of flat pick do I wanna use? How do I hold it? How do I hold on to it? Uh, why are there so many different colors? So we're gonna try to answer as much of that as possible here in a short, brief amount of time. I've never had anybody ask me how many Look at all these colors. There's there so are a lot of colors. Different colors, so show the but, people. We got purple and blue and green and orange. Now one of my favorite new products right here, because we get a lot of people ask this a lot too, is how do I hold the pick? Especially someone who's never done this It's before. awkward. It is, it's If I try to do it with my other hand, I don't know how to do it. And you... Now, I, you know, I, I kind of always tell people it's a very loose fist, get that pick to come in, 90 degree angle towards your body, and let that thumb land on top of it. Very loose, very open, doesn't have to have a ton, but being that we're covering so much of the pick with our forefinger and our thumb, you kind of get a lot of control out of that. I think one of the most common things people do is try to put it on the bottom of their finger and kind of pinch it between your fingers like you would squeeze that way. It's more on the side, like if you're holding a trigger finger and just lay it on the side of that finger and put your thumb over top of exactly. it. Exactly. So a new product came out, and we like this one a lot. It's by Diderio. Uh, it's called the Training Pick, and we love this for getting students started. I know you've got all your students doing it. I've got most of mine doing it as well. Um, and it's got these little notches, added ridges that are there. This side's a flat one across the top that you put your thumb on. The bottom side has this curved ridge that you're going to put your index finger up against. Again, it's going to give you that same exact curl feel and it's got little ridges to get you used to that so that you know my thumb aligns with that ridge there and my forefinger aligns with that curve. That way I've got that control automatically right yeah, there. It's, it literally is a training pick. You learn how That's to right. hold the pick. Then once you get used to the feel of that grip, you can switch to whatever pick that you prefer. But it's a really good tool to learn the proper grip because it, you know, there's there there are a lot of different ways to grip your pick. I think the most common, that's what I go with, this is what I see the most professionals do. Side of your finger, thumb going across it, and this pick aligns perfectly with yep, that. Absolutely. And it's a it's a decent pick too. Um, it's kind of in between. It's not too thin, it's not too heavy. Um, it'll be a good one for somebody to get started with, get that idea of how to grip the pick, then they can kind of experiment to decide what other ones they like. So that's been another episode of Shop Talk. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we will see you guys next time.